Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Admiral Market Session Recap of 6th of October 2014. My name is Nenad, and today uh, we will talk about five different currency pairs uh, named Euro Dollar, Cable, Aussie, ODN, and Odi Suisse. So, last session recap was pretty fine, as you all know. We had some 280 pips pool. We had some nice trades going on, so we will see what uh, will happen this week. So before I begin with uh, this webinar, as always, with disclaimer. Online educational materials are developed by Admiral Markets in Estonia for a global audience. Therefore, please take into consideration that information in this session may not be suitable for everyone. To get the corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, please visit www.admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence, and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with forex market. By accepting uh, the risk disclaimer, you are also proceeding further with me. Admiral Markets Utility detects no responsibility for the information accuracy. The analysis represents the personal opinion of the author, it's me, and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for the trade. These are not MUK's opinions. The website in the video is not the .co.uk website, but the globalnews.com website. Forest is risky business, and this should not be taken as advice, and it's a personal opinion only. So this webinar is informational and educational purposes only. So with having said that, we are ready to proceed. Uh, now, uh -huh. can you please clarify how long the trades are valid and for, and do you add pips to the sell levels? No, I will explain now. I will show you now. So now before we begin, uh, pay attention to 60.30 also on uh, GBP dollar. It might be good for a sell with uh, 30 pip stop loss targeting 59.80. So around 60.30, we might get a sell opportunity towards 59.80. So don't use big risk because it's retracement, but it also is good. Now GBP dollar is very close to sell level, so you can try that and put your stop loss of 60.55. So, well, it's only 25.30 pips, but please use lesser risk because... Today is Monday, you know, Mondays, sometimes after NFP Mondays can be uh, sometimes pain, real. But I am already in the sale of GBP dollar, so around 60, 25, 30 could be a good sell. So uh, all session recaps, trades, and analysis are done with Camarilla MACD proprietary method. You need to give price a breeding room, so as always, price needs to breed. So you can usually enter within 5 to 10 pips of the predicted level if it's in agreement with your system. You need to respect your stop loss. Stop loss is always as is. And if I, if I put 30 pips stop loss, that means that if I add to that trade, uh, it, it will still be initially 30, so it can only be less. So because you're adding into retracement. That means, for example, uh, okay, I told you that the pound was good uh, for entry around 60.25. So if it and stop loss is 60.55, so if it gets to 60.30, 35, you can add a little bit if if it's not a big risk, but stop loss should remain the same. So that is how the things are done. We take only one position, whichever kids first. It's either position trade or alternative trade. We don't take we don't take both positions. Now the thing is. Uh, always, if you're buying at the spread, if you want to buy GBP dollar at 63.50 and your spread is two pips, then you're buying it at 63.52. So you always need to add the spread into account. I personally, guys, don't like to trade with spread which is more than four pips. So that is my personal uh, rule because uh, on intraday trading, four pips, five pips, you know, if you want to scalp, if you want to scalp swing, you cannot scalp with five pip spread. Even with four, five, four to f four and a half pip spread, it's, it's too big. Uh, so I personally watch always the spread. So around uh, one to, to I don't know two point five or three pip is the maximum which I'm comfortable to trade intraday. Because if you trade intraday, then obviously we don't want to see big spread. There will be some problems, obviously, with uh, this uh, new account 
rebranding, but I think it will be sold. And I want to see spreads as they were, and I think they will be better. It will be sold. So on some pairs, again, I, I couldn't do GBP audio or GBP CAD analysis because currently, because of that account change which happened today, it's a little bit much of a spread, so we need to wait for things to get into track, so we will see for the next webinar, maybe GBP audio and GBP CAD. So I prepared, for today I prepared other pairs which are, which are pretty good to trade and comfortable with spreads. So if you're buying, always add a spread. If you're not selling, if you're selling, you don't add the spread. Guys, remember this. If you're buying, you always need to add the spread. If you're selling, you need to add spread to your stop loss. It's that clear, right? So if you're buying, add the spread. If you're selling, I, I obviously need to put that sentence in this slide. I will do that. So let me... Let me, okay, I will click, put another line. So, if you are selling, selling, you add the spread to your stop loss. For example, selling GBP dollar 63.25. With Silo <laughs> SL, sorry, stop loss at 63.55. Now, if the spread is two pips, then your stop loss is 63.57. Okay? That is how I do it. So I only need to add the spread to selling side but sometimes guys you it's not that obvious as if we're buying so you can do that very often I don't do that I can say very often I even don't do that and leave stop loss fixed at 30 because you probably notice that most of my stop loss is 30 pips. Sometimes you can do that. But you know, I have noticed, that is the rule of trading, but I have noticed very often that if the spread doesn't hit close to 25 pips, stop loss, sorry, not spread. If stop loss is, let's say, close, if my stop loss is 30 pips and the price gets at 25, so 5 pips to my stop loss, that 2 pips won't save me. This is the rule for trading, but obviously, Sometimes you don't need to do that, but this is important. If you're buying, you need to add a spread, okay? This is very important. Usage of trailing stop is highly recommended. These recaps are helping you to, do, to better understand the structure of the intraday trend. So let's say that I plan to sell uh, GBP dollar. Obviously, that means that the GBP dollar is in downtrend, okay? Now it's around 8 to 10 pips in profit, GBP, if you were selling it. So we will monitor how this things, I need, I would like to see it more to the downside. Usage of trailing stop is highly recommended. These recaps are helping you to better understand the structure of the intraday trend. Okay, that is normal because if you are trading intraday and I, I'm showing you a short setup, that means that the trend is short, okay? Sometimes those levels just miss our entry point to, I don't know, two or three pips, but we need to deal with that. Still, you need to know that these, uh, the trend is usually 80% of the time as, well, I can say even more the trend, about the trend. The trend is, as I'm telling you, if I tell you the trend is to the short side, then on intraday, it's to the short side. These setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. Pay attention to Twitter updates, guys. Always pay attention to my Twitter updates and Admiral Marcus blog posts. 
and pips pool is the maximum available number of pips you could have got on recap entries. Sometimes I don't post uh, on Mondays. You probably notice that I don't have those kind of analysis on Mondays. That is because I'm doing session recaps on Mondays and well this is all my analysis so obviously I don't need to do it prior to session recaps so sometimes you won't be reading my uh, analysis on Mondays only on those session recaps so that is reserved for Mondays and later then we can see so now 10 pips profit on GBP dollar guys so pay attention I need I want to see that more to the downside so let's see what will happen I hope that we will at least come to 60 level we will see but pay attention to that or if you want to scalp you can take the profit whatever you want so last recap results 29 of September 2014 euro dollar didn't qualify GBP dollar plus 100 to 150 pip pool Audi, Aussie sorry 80 pip pool GBPK didn't qualify Audi and GB, didn't qualify New Zealand dollar plus 80 trade of the week GBP dollar total 260 pips pool if you made 30 out of those 20, 260 then it's great because all is all what counts is pips guys all what counts is pips and profit so 260 pips pool so if you have taken 30 pips it's still good uh, is it possible can you add dollar yen in your weekly so we can have compile idea of low major currency Euro GBP Audi and uh, yeah uh, okay Desai uh, unfortunately I don't like currently the spread is not how I, I would like it to be it's simply because you can see that GBP crosses are uh, let me find it well, this is demo account but still uh, GBP CAD uh, 5 6 uh, pip spread GBP Audi is again 5 pip spread GBP New Zealand is also something like uh, 7 8 pip spread uh, I think it will be sold so uh, until then I will I will stay out of GBP CAD and so on so let's see okay I sold 63.25 so Murtaza if you're in good 63.25 do you see my screen guys do you see the slide where it says last recap results 29.09 2014 okay so my screen will change no problems just let me show you last recap then I will show you results for this week last recap obviously euro dollar was good to sell right but unfortunately we didn't get the sell price the price was not close to my sell level so unfortunately we didn't get the price so we will see uh, sometimes as I'm telling you the trend was okay because I told you the trend is to the downside I got it right but obviously we didn't get the pullback I want to see sometimes bigger pullbacks for selling we didn't have that last week so it doesn't matter the trend was still good GBP dollar was the winner position sell around 60 to 90 stop loss 30 pip 61 90 that was my slide for la from last week do you remember the trade the the price was hit here almost three pips well it, it got into this uh, seller zone buffer uh, 6287 okay 6287 and bang down bang down 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 all the way down we got some nice sells for G, uh, GBP dollar nice sell on GBP dollar then what we got is Audi trade Audi trade oh, sorry this is Audi this is for this week so sorry this is Audi yeah 8800 30 pip stop loss 8720 what happened is this was the time of our webinar and uh, where the price went it went here 88 and down down it go Audi good but then Audi and didn't qualify GBPK didn't qualify Audi and didn't qualify New Zealand plus 80 well GBPK didn't qualify GBPK didn't Audi and didn't qualify 9600 guys 9600 and uh, unfortunately how 
come how is that possible let me see something huh strange because yeah I know what happened my sell order was a little bit above this price and I told you to sell so this was a good sell guys this was a good sell on ODN look it was sell around 9600 yes I know my sell was I, I changed it to 9620 and later when I was trying to sell I forgot I, I put a little bit higher price so this was good guys this signal was good good for 70 pips I will add that so ODN plus 70 pips pool so 70 pip pool okay 70 pips so 330 people guys just confirm can you see my screen now can you see my screen good Alec is telling me that he sold 95 95 great I'm glad that you made money I didn't make money with this trade because I had pending a little bit above 96 so unfortunately good I'm glad uh, that you made money so well it happens from time to, from time to time sometimes it happens so I'm not concerned about it well I missed this one but the signal was good so that was 70 pip winner this was the time of our webinar the trade took here it was sold off nice pips from ODN okay New Zealand dollar also good 78.50 what happened the price got here and it was sold for 80 pips so 80 pips also on New Zealand dollar so you know guys these things are not simple I have big responsibility to give you entry positions stop loss trend so you know sometimes if I make mistake during during uh, the if I made mistake during the webinar for example I didn't count this unfortunately that can happen it's a big responsibility so let's start with this day recap do you see euro dollar slide do you see euro dollar slide Vladimir is saying nothing what I talk can be seen on my screen how come I think that you can see my screen I got confirmation that everyone can see my screen good I can see everyone is saying that they can see so I can assume Vladimir that maybe the problem is with your computer or internet connection I, I'm not sure so it's good it's obviously good okay so today look, look 2610 it was euro dollar and it came almost to the pip today but we may Vladimir I think that you have a problem with your computer try to restart and then join again because everyone is confirming that they can see euro dollar slide do you see euro dollar is a downtrend position sell around 2610 stop loss 30 pips yeah everyone can see that so probably your computer has stuck so you you should you should has been stuck so you probably should restart it so position sell around 2610 this is today okay this is for today tomorrow and day after tomorrow the only exception is if I make updates how many points we must put on trailing stop 12 to 15 pips guys on trailing stop if you're using trailing stop because uh, sometimes momentum can kill us euro dollar uh, GBP dollar is good so you can you can put some trailing stop or well I would advise putting uh, on a trailing stop so we will see what will happen but this might be early profit rate taking so you need to manage your trades I'm giving you the trade but you know uh, 
try to manage it. If you think that uh, this will drop, I think it should drop a little bit more, but still it's the end of the day. I would like if, Euro, if GBP dollar came on 60.25 uh, five hours ago. So that, that is when we have momentum. You know, New York session, London cross session, when those sessions overlap, we have strong momentum. Now we don't have strong momentum because London is out of the trade now, and now what we have is New York. So use trailing stop or take profit on GBP dollar. So whatever you choose, it, it will be right. Even if you close your trade now, uh, it's okay because I didn't make huge target. 58.80 is my target. So trail the stop or use or, or, or take it, okay? 26.10, 30 pip stop loss, target price 25.50. So that is the plan for Euro dollar. Now alternative setup is 25.20 buy stop loss, 20 pips, targeting 25.50. Why I am making this trade is obviously because of this. Let me show you. I cannot show you Camarillo McD template, but the rules are the same. First, we need to see is there historical selling. Of course, look at this level. Remember what I've been telling you about the weeks. This is important week because this was rejection of this important support, which is now resistance. So rejection, retest, and breakout. So this level was broken out. If we get here, I would be looking to sell. That's very obvious. Uh, also, this was a previous breakout, now probable retest level. Uh, next level for buy is 25.20. 25.20 can be good for scalp trade because we have historical buyers here around this region. Sorry. <clears throat> I wanted to sneeze almost. So historical buyers here because this, this is history buying, this is history buying, this is history buying. Obviously this level is protected 25.20. Okay, GBP dollar is still going to the downside, so we will see. Not looking bad, but again, I'm advising you to use trailing stop, but we will see. Maybe we can see some better price here, but who knows? We will see. GBP dollar. Why did you sell GBP dollar at this level? I will show you why. Did, do you see now why I sold this? This is one of, of the examples why I sold this here. Isn't this too obvious why I sold it here? Look. What does it telling you? Breakout, retest, con guys, you always need to use your logic. It, it's most obvious why I sold it here. Isn't it most obvious, really? Uh, just look at this. Look at this and tell me what do you see here. What do you see here? Breakout. Okay. Retest. Continuation, yes, uh, Claudio, you're right, but still, it's Camarilla MACD set up, so yeah, you, you're right. And, uh, yeah, I use FIB, but I cannot, uh, I, okay, if I, if I show you, it will be like this. I will be using FIM from this point to this point. And it is indeed 50% of retracement, but still, more important for me is, Historical selling. This is history of selling in this region. Do you see the history of selling? Okay. Look, breakout. Hey, Vladimir is saying, oh, hey, all okay. I'm glad. So look, breakout, pullback. Even you could you could make three type of breakout, three types of breakout trades. Look, breakout of this level. Trigger happy trade, retest, so break, breakout trigger happy, breakout retest trade, 
and from this point breakout pullback continuation breakout retest continuation so three types of those trades guys so you now you you see why I, I did make that kind of trade uh, why did I tell you to sell at 6025 so actually uh, sometimes as you can see on these live webinars you can make pips while trading the lie with me guys okay and that is good. Uh, I think that you all like those kind of pips when we g get some entries, nice going entries on our recaps. I think it's a good thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like it too, really. Yeah, and trading stop. If you use it, you would be some foreign pips in profit. So manage the trade however you think you should do it. But the thing is, it's it's showing up nicely. So let let me see. Let me just wait a second here. Okay, okay. Maybe we can see another chance to sell around sixty fifty, guys. Okay. Uh, for all of you who made some profit and who are still in the trade, if you're using the trailing stop. And you, I don't know, maybe you will be making some 10 to 15 pips of profit and maybe more. Uh, maybe we will have another chance to sell, another chance to sell at 60.50, guys, at 60.50 region. It's very close to 78.6 and uh, historically it's strong. It's strong historically. Look, 60.50. So I will be maybe again sell it around 60.50. Now, um, it's okay to tell you like this because we are currently in the profit, so it's okay to tell you. Okay. Okay. Now, what else should I told you? Uh, yeah, this was last week, so I told you and today this was most obvious that we've been selling from this region and that was my plan for today. Position sell around 6025, stop loss 6055, target price and still maybe we could see another sell at 6050 again with 30 pip stop loss but this time target should be again 5980. If this trade doesn't make it to 5980 then we can try another sell at 6050 I will add this because we are in the profit now. We are in the profit. Profit now. If the price hits 59.80, we don't do anything. If not, then second chance sell comes around 60 to 50 stop loss 30 pips targeting 59.80 but still again use trailing stop <coughs> okay use trailing stop okay now what about Aussie Aussie is still in downtrend but momentum is to the long side I would be probably looking for a sell around 87.80, 30 pip stop loss 87.25. Now let me mark these levels for you. Guys, 87.80. We can also see this. Look at this. Week, week, buying, 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 buying. And obviously this is important zone. So this zone is probably good for sell. And now you need to adjust the FIB because you are coming from a higher time frame. And what does it tell you? It's also 87.80. It's very close to 78.6 and very close to previous buyers here. So we can mark this like this. And this line is also good. So 87.75 to 87.80 is very close to 78.6. So this is the zone for selling. 
And of course, what would you expect of this zone? I think that we should expect for the price to probably, probably hit the sell. Bob Shepard, Bob, 60.25, yes, but did you make profit? Did you close your trade? Did you make some trading stop? I, yeah, 60.25 was for GBP, Bob, for this level. We were selling from this level. My trail stop was hit. I got some foreign pips out of it, but you know, uh, is the risk you need to take. Either you want to make full price projection, I wrote wrong number. Where, Bob? Yeah, 6025. This is not wrong number. Ah, sorry. Yes. Thank you, Bob. You think ah, you think about this one, 6050. Yes, now I will be selling 6050 if it comes to that level. Of course. Thank you, Bob. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Audi 8780. Stop loss 30 pips, 87.25 is Audi sell. 87.85 is the target. So 87, look, this zone is good for sell and probably it will be good for some scalp if it gets to this level. So these are major, <coughs> this is the major zone. So these are major player, players. This zone and this zone are major player, players at this moment. So either sell from this region or buy from this region. We will see what we will get, but only for scalp. 8700 only for scalp, targeting 8720 to 30, okay? So this is the region for target price, and of course, I, will, I forgot to mark the region. 8700 is buying region, but only till this point because once this price breaks this level I think it can jump and then proceed down but if it hits this level I think the target should be 8720 okay so pay attention to this okay this is what we should do or the end 96 again I'm, I'm looking to sell around 9600 with 9550 ODN is in downtrend, but it's ranging, guys. Look, this is the range. Can you spot the range? Look at the range. So again, this level 95.90 to 96 can be good for sell. And I think it could be nice sell. Again, uh, GBP dollar is going down yeah it, it's you see how strong that 6025 is and it is strong because of historical selling and because of fibonacci level guys that is why it's so strong look previous week breakout retest continuation and it's obvious that this is a strong level that is why we see rejections Hit rate is really good with Camarilla MACD. Audi Swiss is in uptrend, positioned by around 0 0.8405, 30 pip stop loss, 84.80. We can see this trade very soon, I think. Uh, Audi Swiss. -y. I will show you Audi Swiss now. Yeah, it's close, but it's, look at this. Oh, five pips. I have my pending order. <laughs> Unfortunately, now only if we get another chance to buy here. So look at this. When does, when did it happen? 45. Yeah, this, this happened while I was writing this session recap. It came to the buying zone. Look. Look at the time. 16.45. Unfortunately, this trade, only if you get another chance to buy it, guys, treat it as a scalp trade because it's happening. 
I need to treat this trade as it's already happening. And look, 15 minutes prior to our webinar, we had uh, we had a buy. And I was, and yeah, my pending wasn't hit. But okay, I will make like this. If we get, <laughs> Predrag is saying this recap costs me money. Well, not exactly. To be honest, uh, <laughs> it happens sometimes, you know, uh, when I make those analysis, which I publish here on Mondays, it sometimes I am, you know, I, I have my pending order. I cannot watch market, market uh, orders. And sometimes it's missed by four, five pips. Or sometimes I know that some of my trades miss by one or two pips. But uh, uh, if I, if I were, were watching the price, I would surely be in, in that trade. Four pips is nothing, really. Uh, another reason to appreciate my effort. Yeah, <laughs> I think that we all appreciate what we are doing for you. Well, I'm sure I really get a satisfaction when you make some money out of it and make pips out of it. So if we get another chance to buy it specifically around 8400 to 8505, treat it as a scalp, scalp swing trade, targeting maximum 50 pips. Because next time that level is hit, you know guys, uh, it's best if you take the trade on first attempt. On the second chance, buy or sell, it might not be that good, but still it can be rejected for a scalp trade. Look at this buying here. So we will see what will happen. So maybe Euro dollar will come to sell price, so we will see. So guys, if you have any questions, I will roll these slides again. You can ask me if you want uh, any questions answered. Uh, but the thing is, I didn't make any other analysis except this. Just because uh, until these things with spreads sell up a bit, I just very, I mean, it's very hard for me to make uh, analysis on 5 pip spread because, you know, 5 pip is much for intraday, so I think when it's sold, I will be making analysis again, of course. For GBP, CAD, GBP, ODI, and so on. It will be done. Uh, I can make analysis, of course. It doesn't matter with spread, my analysis. But the thing is, uh, I'm not sure I would trade 5 pip spread, so that is the only reason. All these things, what I'm showing you, I trade. Sometimes, from time to time, I miss the trade, because I have another setup, but I trade it. I, I'm taking those entries. Uh, Twitter handle, please. My Twitter, of course, pay at attention to my Twitter update. My Twitter update is tarantulafx at gmail.com, okay? Tarantulafx at gmail.com. So that is, that is my Twitter handle, and if you want to follow these trades and Everything what I do, pay attention to, of course, Twitter, and pay attention to, it's normal, uh, you know what I'm talking about, Spiders Den, Forex Factory. If one is placing stop loss, is it on the current candle? No, uh, Douglas, stop loss is not placed on your current candle. For example, uh, uh, how I do it? My usual stop loss is, uh, again, confluence point of uh, Camarilla, and the previous swing high and low. So basically, this was obviously the buy entry. But if we get 30 pip stop loss on that particular trade, uh, so 80, 8405, so 8375. Pay attention. Somewhere around here, just a little bit below this, okay? 
because that is important level and that is the most important swing to place stop loss. Look at the confluence, 50% of the confluence. Look. And 30 pip stop loss was initially for this trade. So that is how I do it, but it, it, it's not on the current candle. Usually my stop loss is fixed around 30 to 30 two, three pips maximum. And I like when my stop loss is fixed because that when I fix my stop loss, I know my risk. So the rules for placing stop loss on these session recaps are uh, different because they I use confluence of important levels, Camarilla levels and swing lows and highs. And for this one, I use this one. Because this is obviously a retracement and obviously that this is a strong point because we already had buyers three times. We already had buyers. We already had buyers. And my presumption was we could see another, well, especially around this 50 feet, but unfortunately the, pli the price on my pending wasn't hit, but it came four people close to my entry so I would place market order if I saw it. But use 30 pip stop loss on this and for placing stop loss on other systems I know that many other systems use previous uh, swing highs and lows. So some system may tell you use uh, stop loss just below this level. I use Camarilla levels, previous uh, important swing points and of course last swing high and low. And this was obvious. I pulled Fibonacci from this point to this point, waiting for this level. Obviously, I would place my Fibonacci, uh, my stop loss be below this level. Okay. So euro dollar GBP, it's currently, and we might get another sell at 60.50. You are welcome, Douglas. Market plan for Audi. Oh, sorry, Ozzy. Sell 8780, 8700, okay. Audi and 9600, 9550. Audi Suisse, yep. Now Audi Suisse. And let me pause the screen for a brief moment. I will show you. I will show you now an another annual markets set of webinars. So guys, under education and webinars, you can see it clearly. Weekly Forex recap, live trading lab with Chris, 